construct a universe teeming with imperfection, misery, sin. Among the scholars of both heaven and hell, this query is known as the Riddle of Sorrows. If sin is itself a part of the grand design, is not sin then, by definition, divine? A question for the sages. The one particularly restless bunch kept a robust relationship to the topic. The Nephilim. Spawn of angels and demons. Warriors, relentless, unstoppable, blood mad. Until they were betrayed by four of their own. War, death, fury, and strife. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. Inconceivable power was bestowed upon the traitors by those sworn to maintain symmetry, twixt order and chaos. The Charred Council. Bear witness as the Council holds court to end the Nephilim War in the name of balance. This is the new pact. War, bringer of worldwide fire. You are the juggernaut of all pain. Death, dark soul of eternity. You are the deepest decay. You are anti-life. Strife, endless spirit of timeless unrest. You are all that is unsettled in the hearts of that which lives and breathes. And finally, fury. Terrible engine of rage. You are the machine that- Are we to waste our time on ceremony, or are we to fight? Step forward and recognize, horseman. You are the most impatient of your kin. The least predictable, dancing on the edge of your own reality. Your brothers understand the undertaking set before them. But do you? Still talking! Shall I have Death fetch us some tea, or can we get on with it? Fury, your role in this story is yet to be written. I wonder. Will you light the flame of creation anew, or stomp out the embers for good? <laughs> Dreams more thrilling than reality. Had I known the new pact would be so exciting, I would have let war separate my head from my neck then and there. Is it possible to die of boredom? Rampage. <laughs> Bored as I am, perhaps you're just lazy. If I didn't love you so much, I'd kill you just for something to do. The call? Finally. Please, please, please tell me you're a planet of demons that needs slaying. Or two. War. What pathetic fate have you brought upon yourself, brother? Watch your tongue. 
tongue. <laughs> I may be least favored of all the horsemen, but my tongue never found me chained to a rock like some dog. Fury, approach us. I take it there is a mess that needs tending to. Though you jest, you speak true. War has broken his vows to this council and shattered the Seventh Seal. <sighs> the Apocalypse. Why would he... We know not. Yet. As we speak, Earth falls beneath the spears of heaven and the hammers of hell. So the horsemen are to ride. No. While the Charred Council seeks to understand how and why the traitor war has committed this abominable act, there is a matter that requires delicate attention. <laughs> you should have called Strife. He's the delicate one. The seven deadly sins have been released. By whom, we cannot say. But the seven roam the earth, free of our prison. The balance between order and chaos is already in jeopardy. The Seven cannot be left unchecked. War is in chains. Death is missing. Strife attends to other matters. The last time you faced the Sins, it required all four of you. I can handle those fools in my sleep. But when this task is complete, I demand that you grant me my rightful place leading the Horsemen. If you would trade obedience for a title, so be it. But never make a demand upon us, Horsemen. You depart immediately. Greetings, Miss Fury. I must admit, this is a fortuitous fate. A Watcher? You doubt my allegiance? Please, be not cross. I am such an admirer. Scratch that. I'm a fan. You are the horseman. The only one that matters. Enough! I will allow you to accompany me. Just stay out of my way. I will be as unto a shadow. Steadfast. Silent. More silence! Go! Seek out the place called Haven. Your quest for the Seven Deadly begins there. Fury, wait. I... Whatever has passed between us, search your heart. You cannot believe I am guilty of these crimes. Something is wrong with the universe. Be vigilant, Fury. Forces conspire against us. Heed my words! Fury, we're close to one of the seven. You just know it. I hope it's not envy. That one's a terror. 
Haven. A haven for what, vermin? Humans, mistress. Adorable. Build a house of sticks during the end of the world. Where exactly do we go from here, Watcher? I... I know not but what the Council commands, mistress. The quest for the Seven begins here. Quite the grudge you're carrying. What they have, I will take. <laughs> when they have nothing left, they will be my playthings until they break. <laughs> you cannot stop me! <laughs> oh, I don't want to. Humanity is tragically overrated. I am not here for them. I'm all yours. No! Mine is 
<laughs> Pretty. Come and get it. Father, but weren't you supposed to catch envy? I did. Watch. This. Talisman. It's a vessel. Envy used it to hold energies from the rest of the Seven. It will make a fitting prison for the others once their physical forms have been broken. If I may, there is a... well, a sort of hum emanating from the talisman. That glow... Will indicate when one of the Seven is nearby. I know. So wise. You are all that the Council promised, Mistress. I'm beginning to enjoy the sound of your voice, Watcher. I would be remiss in my duties if I didn't point out that even with the talisman, locating the other deadly sins will prove a challenge. Finding envy was easy enough. That was a gift. One I would not count on receiving twice. Envy was also, by far, the weakest of the deadly sins. Anything else to add? Only what I assume you already know. The armies of both heaven and hell have cordoned off the world of man into various areas of influence. Look around us. The upheaval we have seen is the very personification of the struggle between order and chaos. You have set for yourself an unenviable task, given these environs. That's what makes it fun. The other sins are hiding across this shattered world. They strike at angels and demons alike in their own selfish bids for power. Their hubris will lead me right to them. Perhaps. But you will need assistance. Whatever I need, I will take, Watcher. <laughs> 